It's a strong message from the largest Islamic organization in the country. Muslims in Indonesia should stay away from the conflict in the Middle East and stay away from the armed group ISIL. After Thursday's attack, the first claimed by the ISIL in Indonesia, this message has become more urgent than ever. I'm very sad this happened because they are using the name of our religion while Islam has never taught us this. After years of being silent, Indonesia's largest Muslim organization, Nadlatul Ulama, is taking a stance against radicalization, a powerful message in the world's most populous Muslim country. But taking a stance on the streets may not be enough to win this battle of ideologies. Nadlatul Ulama also aims to counter ISIL's ideology in the nearly 40,000 schools and 117 universities it runs. Islam forbids killings, but they kill. Islam respects human beings, but they kill those who have a different opinion. Islam upholds universal values of humanity and promotes people living together whatever religion. Police estimate that nearly 400 Indonesians have joined ISIL in Syria and Iraq, and dozens have returned to Indonesia. According to police, the leader of ISIL in Indonesia is a man named Santoso, who has been fighting a guerrilla war in the jungle in East Indonesia. They are not supporting the, uh, the Republic of Indonesia, which is being perceived by them as secular. So the troops of secular or infidel government, from their perspective, you know, being perceived as enemies, including the police, uh, military, right? So that's target number one, I think. After Thursday's attack, the police are carrying out raids across Indonesia. As the police investigation continues, many Indonesians feel that now is the time to make clear their own opposition to violence. Stab Fasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.